open up on seven. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom. The iron holding no balance. Ah! Greetings, new fish. I'm... Captain Quark. I... I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet and Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim. You're here. I... I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh-huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank! Does that ship look mag-lifted to you? Get on that bolt crank, come on! Look at this thing. Avionics fried, CPU fried, even the gosh darn gravity coils fried! Oh, you really did a number this time. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up, do you see something flashing? Come on, give it a spin. Yep, left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner lights. Lower left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space-worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. And so, Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Rise and shine, Kizzle Plateau. It's 8 a.m. and it's going to be a hot one today. Our first story is a sad one, folks. Last night at approximately 8.13 our time, Planet Tenemule fell to what appears to be a Class 7 supernova. President Byronics has issued a statement calling this a tragic natural disaster. But top know-it-alls are skeptical. This is the fourth planet we've lost in the last three months. Next, the first planetary conjunction in over a thousand years will occur next week. The call zone, signal 30-something is relatively enthusiastic. 
watch it thrashed his enemies using his trusty Omni Wrench. Nice. In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time-honored tradition of jumping. Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. <laughs> I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed, like, three out of five gunshot wounds. Lombax displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the humorous. Maybe he was just saving up bolts so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story here? Here. Show us how quick you can be on your feet by jumping over these obstacles. A good ranger is always mindful of their surroundings. Hop across these moving platforms. Good job. You could be the recruit we've been looking for. Keep moving to the next part of the course. Hey there, recruit. I'm Brax Lectris, and my specialty is brute force. Let's see how well you can bash these crates. Man, that was pretty good. Keep moving. It's time to get our hands on some firepower. Go ahead and grab a fusion grenade glove from this Gadgetron vendor. Galaxy is a perilous place, as evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. Look, up here. It's me, Captain Quark. Well, it's not really me, just a slip with a pre-recorded message of me. But I'm sure it's thrilling nonetheless. Ah! I just wanted to wish all prospective Galactic Rangers good luck. In order to spice things up, we've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool. Whoa, a hollow card. Sweet. Spice things up. We've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool with this. Look, up here. It's me, Captain Gordon. Well, it's not me. Hey, just a flip with a freaking. Good job, recruit. You may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Head to the final challenge. Come on, Ratchet. You can do this. I 
time for the final challenge. <laughs> Survive a brutal onslaught of enemies, and you just might be our next Galactic Ranger. Or <laughs> One down. Looks like some angry toads. Another one down. Impressive. Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? After the show. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Helpless Defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the Defect, Victor. You never disappoint. Feeble Defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young Defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless Defect had to throw a spring bot, but where and how? <laughs> <laughs> 